Hello IT Pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the hard drive for this Dell laptop. The model is Inspiron 113147 as you can see there. I, I like this laptop a lot because it's small, it's portable and you can use it as a tablet because it has a touch screen. Now, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to use this brand, PNY. I use it kind of in many videos because it's affordable and it comes with the basic version of Acronis, which is a cloning software and a backup software. So maybe you're watching this video and you want to make a backup of this and, or, make it, or maybe you want to clone the hard drive that you're using because it's very old. If you're interested in that, I'm going to leave the link. You can click on the top right of this screen to watch a video related on cloning, cloning with Acronis. So, also I'm going to leave the link in the description below if you're interested in the hard drive. But it doesn't have to be a Cronus, can be any other brand, can be a mechanical hard drive, so it doesn't make a difference. I'm just showing you the one I use. So, now using my Philips screwdriver, I'm going to remove the eight screws that this laptop has. As you can see me doing here. And something I wanted to tell you is that if this is the first time or this is one of the first time you're doing this, do it with, take your time. To, to do all this process because you don't want to break anything. So after you have removed the, the, screw, the screws using your plain, screw, plain head screwdriver, as you can see me doing there, lose, uh, the, uh, lose the back cover a little. And now we go to the top and you can use your screwdriver as well, the plain, the plain head, small one, but I'm going to use my, my nails here because they fit. And now very carefully you try to open it. So I have left the sound on on this part so you can hear how it sounds. Do it really slowly and with patience, okay? You don't want to break anything. So you can hear and see how it works. Just a few more seconds. Take your time. And that's how it works. The bottom is magnetic, so that's pretty cool. So now you can take it off. So the reason I was doing it really slowly because these kind of models have these clips that I'm pointing with my thumb. And if you break the, if you break one, there is not such a big deal. But if you break many, you might have a problem when putting, when trying to put back the cover. Okay, so that's why I always say do it very, very slowly. Now, uh, as you can see here, I'm going to remove any jewelry or watches that I might have in my body, and my, I'm not elect, elect, electrostatically charged. <laughs> I had a problem with that work. Now you can see the battery there. You can disconnect it. But I'm not going to do it because I'm just going to replace the hard drive. You can see there is only one slot for the RAM. Then you can see the CMOS battery on the top left. You can see the heat sink for the processor and the fan. Now, this is the hard drive and it has three screws. And again, using my Philips screwdriver, I'm going to remove them. So I'm going to start doing it. And I have to remove this kind of, I don't know what, what it's called. But I have to remove it as well. So I'm going to take out the last screw. And now very gently, I'm going to remove the hard drive. So as you can see me doing here, I'm going to do just that. And it comes out really easy. So I'm going to disconnect it from the motherboard. And next, I'm going to remove the belt that is covering the hard drive. So, and I'm going to replace it with uh, our new SSD. As I mentioned, it doesn't have to be PNY, it doesn't have to be an SSD. It can be a mechanical hard drive, can be a Samsung, can be a Kingston, can be any other that you may have or you may like. So now I'm going to replace it and I'm going to put back the screws. But I made a mistake here. I put it in the wrong uh, direction. I put it, I, it has to be in the other direction. So you're going to see the first screw doesn't give me any problems, but when I try to put the second, it's not going to work. So it's spinning, it doesn't go inside the hard drive because the holes don't match. I mean, the holes in the, um, that are in the belt with the holes on the physical hard drive, they don't match. So I'm trying to do it here and I realize, okay, I messed it up. So now I'm going to remove the only screw that fit 
and now you're going to see me that I'm going to turn it over. So there, it has to be like that. So now all the screws are going to fit with no problems. So as you have noticed in some places, the video is sped up, so you don't have to, to you don't have to wait all the time that it took me. So now we put all the screws back and then we have to connect it to the motherboard and secure the three other screws as well. But I also made a mistake here. You can see in the bottom left, uh, bottom right, I'm sorry, that uh, where that hole where the screw goes, it has to go under the plastic and now it's on the top. So that's why I was feeling when, the, when you, um, when when you run your hand over the battery and over the hard drive they don't feel level so the hard drive feels that it's higher than the other components so it's not going to close if we keep it that way now we did it right i put the um, the metal part under the plastic and now everything feels smooth as it should be so um, be be careful about that so don't make the same mistakes i make so now, after I put all the screws uh, back to the to the hard drive, I'm going to put back the the the, cover, the back cover for this laptop. As I mentioned, it has it's magnetic in the bottom, so that's easier. And after a few more minutes, I was able to put all the screws back. So you can see here the the last two. And now comes the final part. So all the screws are in place, and now you can see it like this and just press it down gently press it down so everything is close and neat as it should be so then it's ready to go back to production it's ready to or to install windows or if you have an ima uh, imaging server to uh, put the image in in this hard drive and everything is going to be working as always so here's the hard drive we have removed and that's all I wanted to show you in this video, guys, uh, how to replace the hard drive for this Inspiron 11 inches 3147. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.